An existing broad crested spillway has a current design discharge of 2,000 cubic feet per second, a crest length of 50 feet, and a design head of 7 feet. Due to climate change considerations, it is planned to upgrade the spillway to handle discharge rates of 2,700 cubic feet per second. If there is 10 feet of length available to increase the crest length of the spillway, how much higher will the head of the upgraded spillway be than it was originally in feet? Assume that the velocity coefficient of discharge does not change. So this problem is pretty straightforward. The first thing you have to know is that a spillway is a type of weir. Searching weir in the reference manual will take us to page 319. The problem notes that this is a broad crested spillway, so let's look for the section on broad crested weirs. On page 320, the horizontal broad crested weir equation can be written as follows. Q equals 2 over 3 times CV times LE times the square root of 2G times H e raised to the 3 over 2. In this equation, q is going to be discharge in cubic feet per second, cv is the velocity coefficient of discharge, le is the effective weir length, and he is the energy head upstream of the weir, and g is 32.2 .2 feet per second squared, aka gravity. So if we write down all our knowns in this equation, we can see that only one term is missing and that's gonna be CV. So let's first solve for CV using the initial conditions of the spillway. So we have 2000 cubic feet per second equals two over three times CV times LE is gonna be 50 feet times the square root of 2 times 32.2 .2 feet per second squared and all of that is square rooted and then the design head is 7 feet raised to the 3 over 2. So if we isolate CV right now what we can do is multiply by 3 across the equal sign then divide by all of the other terms. So 2, 50, this quantity, and the value that comes out of 7 raised to the 3 over 2. And that should get you a CV of 0 0.4. So now that we have this CV and the problem states that the coefficient of discharge here isn't going to change between designs, what we can do is use that value along with the changes for the upgraded spillway, so changes to the flow and length, to solve for the new head. So the new discharge rate is 2700 cubic feet per second, and that's going to be equal to 2 over 3. CV is now 0 0.4 the spillway isn't 50 feet anymore but 50 plus the 10 additional so we have 60 feet here then times 2 times 32.2 .2 feet per second squared square rooted and now he is our unknown term that we're solving for so same thing here if we were to multiply by 3, then divide by 2, 4, 60, and this quantity, we could get HE raised to the 3 over 2, which is sometimes just where I stop if I don't trust myself to get it all in the calculator at once, equals about 21 feet. And then, therefore, the new head equals about 7.61 feet. Now, the problem asks, how much higher will the head of the spillway be when it's upgraded than it was originally? So really what we have to do now is 7.61 minus 7, which is the original, and that'll get us 0 0.61 feet, which 0 0.5 is our closest answer over here.
So that's all it takes to solve this problem. Um, this is a basic weir problem that just requires you to understand that you need the broad crested weir equation. So when you think spillway, think weir. And the first thing we're going to do is solve for one unknown. Then we're going to plug that in unknown, which is now a known, back into the problem again with new values added to the other terms. And that's it.